In this section of the course, I'd like to show you how to set up banks, bank accounts. And in my demonstration, I will show you how to also set up the check layout in order to prepare for accounts payable and receivable set up as well, which are new sessions as part of a finance series. So in this demonstration, as you notice, the first thing we did on the main accounts, we have already designated an account for Bank of Ireland. And as you see on my screen, the 10,000 account is already set for Bank of Ireland. So therefore, that's a logical account for any transactions related to a bank. However, the bank account itself needs to be set up in a cash and bank management module. So in order to do that, first of all, I just need to verify a couple of things. As you notice, if I click on a posted button, on the main account action pane, you realize that I haven't posted any transaction whatsoever in this logical account or main account that will represent my bank. I close this form and in order to set up a bank, I switch to a different module. And as you see under the ledger, I have already set up the chart of account. And once more, I wanted to remind you that prior to posting any transaction, you are capable of changing the chart of account. But as soon as you changed the behavior and the progress of posting transactions of Dynamics X and your legal entity, you no longer will be able to change the currencies or the chart of account. So you can change the currency or chart of account as soon as you posted the transaction. So once more, I just wanted to show you that you could add additional account structure later on, but you won't be able to change chart of account. In order to create a bank account, I go to the cash and bank management module, click on a new bank account, I specify a new name. This would be the name that I would refer to throughout my operation. I call it like Ireland operation. I give it a routing number. This routing number will be given by a bank to me. The bank account number would be the bank account number that the bank will give me to set it up. So these are just the number, whatever the bank tells you, you can set those up. In order to prepare you as an international consultant, I also will show you how to go about and set up the IBAN number as well as the codes necessary in order to do international transaction. I give this bank a name. I call it the Bank of Ireland. And Optionally, I could associate this bank with bank group. Bank group is not mandatory, but let's take a look at it and see what's in it. The bank group combines multiple banks or bank accounts into a group that you could logically update 